Hello, we're back with another episode of Sugar Pusher. And today, we'll be making pizza. But, not just any ordinary pizza. We're gonna have Brussels sprout pizza. Oh yeah, some of you are saying, ew. But that is going to be delicious. And Kevin will be proof of that. Okay, so we will get started. We got all our ingredients mise-en-place. We have our Brussels sprouts shredded. Six ounces, we got four ounces of mozzarella. We got a little herb uh, providence and some maple syrup and some red peppers. And let's get it going. All right, gonna get our pan hot a little bit as we slice up our onion, our onion. And yes. Now, our dough, with the pizza dough, you can make your own or you can purchase some. Most grocery stores have pizza dough. Or if you have time, you can make it yourself. But then again, nobody has time for that. So, all right, we're gonna put a little tablespoon of oil in here. Just Get to cooking. Oh boy. Onions. Alright. Okay. So this is not our traditional pizza, but it is very delicious. And at the end, we're gonna put a little balsamic vinegar across it. Give it a little sweetness. Nice contrast with our Brussels sprouts and onions. Okay, so we're gonna saute our onions. Saute these up. More of this one. Okay. All right, we're gonna let these saute for about six minutes. Okay, we get, all right. We're gonna cook these down. Alexa, set the timer for six minutes. Okay. And let's see, and whilst that's cooking, we'll go over here and start to roll out our dough. Our pizza dough. So we got Pizza dough. And we're just going to flour our, our surface here. Roll that around. Get all our air bubbles out. Oh, this is sticky for some reason. Alright. To do anything fancy, you can even roll this out with a rolling pin if you want to. Make sure your pizza dough is a little room temperature so it's a little more flexible and not so tight. Loosen up all that gluten that's in there. And see how easy that's coming together. Yeah. 
Okay, let's see what our onions are doing. Okay, they're coming along nicely. Getting browned a little bit. Alright. So. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And if you get a little tear in it, you can, it's easy to repair. You just put it together, just like we have a little hole in there now. That's fine. Oh, and let's get a little oil. Okay, put a little oil down. We got a little parchment in here that we're going to put our pizza on. This pizza is going to go on the grill. Okay. Let me go this way. Yeah. I don't. Okay. We'll just stretch it out to fit the pan. Yeah. See how easy that is, huh? Where's our little hole? See, and we just patch that over. this out kind of thin. Not too bad. Nice. And then we'll put a little more oil on here. Oil. Pizza dough. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is your mama's cooking right here. Yeah. All right, back to our onions. Yeah. Oh, they're coming along nicely. Alexa, how many minutes on our timer? We got one minute. One minute. Look at that. All right. These are getting nice and translucent. And so we want to salt this up a little bit. Add some nice red peppers. Not too hot for Kevin. <laughs> Not trying to hurt nobody. Okay. The onions are looking good and smelling good. It's smelling good, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah. Almost time for our Brussels sprouts. And I shredded these myself in the food processor, but you can get these shredded in the store, especially Trader Joe's. So, but I like to do my own because, I don't know, they seem to have a little more flavor when you shred them yourself. And you can shred them as, as how you want. I don't care what Lexus says. Okay, we're gonna add our Brussels sprouts in. All right. We cook these. Cook this till our Brussels sprouts cook down. Oh, yeah. Add a little more oil. Alexa, timer off. Alexa, set the timer for three minutes. Alexa, set the timer for three minutes. Okay. Now we're going to cook this down. Right there. Rinse our hands off a little bit. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. What you think, Kevin? Does that look pretty good? Yeah. Let our cabbage get cooked a little bit. This pizza is good for kids. 
You won't even realize how delicious Brussels sprouts taste when they eat it on pizza. Oh yeah. All right, we got some mozzarella cheese here that we shredded up. Of course, you can get this shredded also, but again, I like to shred my own. And yeah. Okay. All right. This is looking delicious. You like Brussels sprouts, Kevin? Not so mm -hmm. much? Watch. We make you a Brussels sprout believer when you, when you, when you taste this. You'll be like, I, I, thought I, I thought I didn't like these because most of the time when people don't like vegetables it's because their parents didn't cook them properly. Uh. You know? Um, they've had them cooked wrong. And as kids, we, for whatever reason, we don't like vegetables much until we get a little older. But I think Brussels sprouts are, they're overlooked and they can be very delicious when they're properly cooked. And you'll see, you'll see, Kevin. I think you're gonna like it. I, I'd be surprised you don't. <laughs> very surprised. Okay, we don't need our peppers anymore. We're good with that. Okay. And it's really, this dish doesn't take that long. It really doesn't. So we're almost there. Oh yeah. All right. Good. Okay. All right, Alexa, timer off. So, we are going to add our maple syrup and saute that for about a minute or so. Just let it caramelize our cabbage and our onions. Looks pretty good. Yeah. This is coming along very nicely. And we're just about finished. Just let those flavors mesh together. Okay, time's up, and we're going to get back to our pizza dough. Okay, look at that. Mm. Who could turn down those Brussels sprouts? All right, so now we are going to put the cheese on our pizza. And you just want to spread it out. It's about six six ounces or so of cheese. And we just spread it out. And we've oiled our dough. You want to oil the dough first and get it nice so it'll be nice and crisp on the top. And you can, if you have children, you could even let the kids participate in putting some of the pizza on. Now we're going to put on our Herbs Providence, which is uh, almost like an oregano. And we'll just spread that around. And get that all spread out. 
before we take this out to the grill. Okay. All right, and now we're going to put our vegetables on, our pizza. Yeah, okay. We'll just sprinkle it on, try to get it evenly on our pie. Get all those yum yums out the pan. Just spread it out just as even as you can get it. And leave the ends, leave your, your edges. Don't spread it all the way out to the edges. Leave enough room for the crust. Okay, and let's get ready to take it out to the grill and we're going to take our pizza peel with us. And to the grill we are going. Now if you don't have a grill you could also put this in the oven. It'll come out just as well. It just won't heat your house up if you have a grill. And you can put it, if you have a stone, which we have a stone on the grill, you can put the stone also in your oven. Okay. So we got our pizza on there. All right. We're going to let that cook for about five minutes. And then we'll come come out and check on it again. Okay, so we're back. We're back out here. We're going to check on our pizza, see what it's doing. Oh, it's looking good. Look at that. It looks great. Oh, yeah, it's almost done. It does not take long once it gets started. Oh, yeah. So, of course, I'm having a hard time here. It usually doesn't stick. It's sticking a little bit, but no worries. We, this is why we. it's important to have our pizza peel. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to get it out the pan because we're going to put this directly onto the stone because we want that uh, crust, we want the bottom crust to be nice and crisp. Just like they uh, do at the pizza place. Yeah, here we go. Let's come on out. Yeah, usually it's not a struggle, but just because I'm showing us, filming this, of course we're having difficulty. It's usually not that difficult. There we go. All right, and let's slide it on. All right, and we're going to put it directly on the stone, and we'll put it in for another three or four minutes, and see how that does. And we'll be back.
Yeah, no, it's pretty good. And I do not like Brussels sprouts. <laughs> I do not like Brussels sprouts. And you can barely, there's a faint taste of Brussels, right. obviously, to give you that, yeah. you know, this is what it is. Yeah. But as far as everything else, you can't, you can't really tell. You can't really tell. Well, you probably really like the tomato uh, pesto. Oh.